Julia Kubian is a, a Lebanese uh, MP, in fact the only member of parliament who is independent, who isn't part of a political party. Quite the feat here in Lebanon, in the country which is uh, run by, set up to be and run by uh, uh, politics on a, on a, on a sectarian uh, playing field. She's with me here in Beirut. Before you were an MP, you worked, in fact, for Saad Hariri's television station. You yes. did a very long and, and confrontational interview with Saad Hariri back in, twen in 2017, which it, went viral. It, it wasn't confrontational well, at all. It was... <laughs> but yeah, but, but I'm, what I'm saying is you asked the right questions. I mean, you were, you yes. were asking the right questions um, of a Prime Minister who is and has been for some time embattled in this country. It has to be yeah. said. You know him better than most. So what's going through his head today? Uh, well, let me tell you first that here I am again mm. with you because I think you cannot find any politicians to go on air mm -hmm. and explain what's happening or analyze we'll what's happening. This we'll is the find them. no, no. This is the first time. No, I'm saying this, Becky, to mm. just to clear up no, something that this is the first time in Lebanon that politicians are in their houses and the televisions, the streets, everything is for the people. This mm. is this is a scenery that I wouldn't have imagined. This mm. is a dream coming true for what. Going back to uh, Prime Minister Hariri, uh, well, this is not the first surreal resignation, let me put it this way. What's going in his head, I think he reached a deadlock in the negotiations with the other parties because apparently they wanted him not to resign, to stay in power and not to, you know, give anything to the protesters. Uh, they just want to keep everything as it is and play the were, long game effectively. exactly and they were convinced that people will get tired mm -hmm. and they'll go back to their homes that they have you know many scenarios like the violent scenes that we've seen today mm -hmm. the economic card like this is the end of the mm -hmm. month what will happen to your salary they still hold they, all those cards Paula don't they, they despite still, his resignation <laughs> you have a very tough political cast in Lebanon mm -hmm. it's it's not someone who would just democratically mm -hmm. tell the protesters you know what you want us to go home we'll go home and we'll have interim government or caretaking government or we'll, we'll try to have new elections I don't think they'll do new elections very anytime soon it is something that they should do there should be elections soon however uh, we've seen it a month ago uh, in, an, in for one seat there was an election for one parliamentary seat and they didn't do it because mm. there's no money in Lebanon you know outside uh, money is not pouring in like before and they are trapped all of them they Let, don't want to go back to the balance let's talk about why that why that external money isn't incoming at present the international institutions like the IMF and the World Bank will say you know we needed to see an austerity budget that that would work for the 11 billion dollar loan that they were hang on a minute, uh, that they yeah. were that they were offering Sada Riri says that his austerity budget that he announced last Monday, which wasn't acceptable to the uh, protesters here, was his best effort, he says, over two years to, in order to get that loan. Saudi Arabia, let's, let's talk about that as an external force here, so, a, a country that has ploughed money into uh, this country. It, it is the country where in uh, 2018, Sada Riri resigned for the first time, yes. oddly. 2017. No, it was 2018. It was after you did the interview okay. with him. You did the interview with him in yes, 2017. Yes. And then you've got the Iranians. Huge influence uh, on this country through the uh, Shia uh, party of, uh, of Hezbollah. Mm. Well, those influences aren't going to go away, are they? No, they won't. But they've gone quite But, but let me tell you, for the last decade, Saudi Arabia was not paying money anymore in Lebanon. And I think because of the sanctions, the U.S. sanctions, there is less Iranian money, but it's still, it's still definitely mm. coming. So everyone has a problem mm. because they have. So the meddling they have, exists. They have televisions, they have radio stations, they have offices mm. everywhere. They have, they have to pay money. They have a huge payroll every month to pay. Mm. And yes, they, they have a serious problem when it comes to financing mm. their institutions. Uh, plus, this is disruptive what's mm. happening in the street right now is a historic moment for Lebanon because it's disruptive for them they don't know what to do they go on air and say no resignation we're staying there we're strong people are with us and then next day they'll see more people taking the street today after the violent scenes you will see Becky there'll be more people in the street mm. it will not work like that it's however I have a message go. for the protesters they have to know how to deal mm. with these people coming uh, from from different 
from one background, let's say, who are maybe... Uh, They're going to provoke them. They shouldn't provoke them. Mm. They have to contain them somehow. I'm because saying, this I'm is saying they will be provoked. What you're exactly. saying is don't, 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 don't take the bait. Don't go into street fight. This is the worst thing that can happen. No matter what they do, we have to contain them. This is mm. still the missing link to make this revolution, a real revolution for all the people in Lebanon. And it's so important that we discuss what happens next you know the, the next hours the next days the next weeks and months to come you know because you've been in television that we have to pay for these shows yes. every so often which means take a short take a break. break paula thank you thank you so